Down two sets to the young American Pete Sampras. Dick, you got to give Jan and Novotny a lot of credit. Has an opportunity to win not only the singles, but the doubles here in the finals of both events. Tremendous effort. Love 15. But she does have her hands full against Steffi Graf. Double Mo figures now and double faults for Becker. Just one last point. The most physically gifted tennis player, female tennis player I've ever seen, Steffi Graf. Tremendous athlete. Taking nothing away from Martina. Now Martina hoping for her 10th Wimbledon title and this the 100th year and Graf will be seeking her 5th tomorrow. Nine, nine's not too bad. Mm -mm. Pete Sampras continuing with his excellent smart plays. Well, one it. after the other here. This time he decides to come over the back and he has time to come over it. Hits a nice low return, just sits there, waits for his chance. Doesn't go for too much because he knows even if he doesn't put that away, the likelihood is I'll have an easy put away like he did there. Love 30. Guess right there, Bud. Had another chance of that. Try to hit it through bars. I think he was a little bit surprised that he had another chance. Big points for the man at the other end, Boris Becker, already down two sets. Does not want to get, a, get down a service break in the third set. Two sets of love down already. Well, Pete Sambras didn't win that point, but he certainly seems to be measuring Boris Becker's serve now. Blistering return. see the second set look at that statistic only 28 percent for an entire set that's amazing Ooh. look like a replay of two points ago bar specter doesn't seem to have as much on his serve as he did against steaker or even earlier in this match once again, Pete hits a nice low return. This time, Boris guesses down the line. Pete has an easy winner. And a break point. What an opportunity here for Pete Sampras. Four first serves, a rye. Sampras way over in the alley. Oh, uh, another double fault. Yeah, disastrous for Chris Boris Kane Becker. Plus, uh, Painful. Sampras in the lead again. This weekend, join NBC for Breakfast at Wimbledon. Saturday at 9 a.m., two-time defending champion Steffi Graf goes for the three-peat when she faces Jana Novotna in the ladies' final. Then Sunday at 9 a.m., it's the gentlemen's final as today's winners meet at center court for the most prestigious title in tennis. Wimbledon, this weekend on NBC. Pete Sampras did something here that was very interesting in its last service game. Watch what he does here between first and second serves. Gets out into the doubles out. Give, gives Boris Becker something else to think about, as if he doesn't have enough already. Very smart mental play by Pete Sampras, and look what the result was. Another double fault. James and Sampras. the break Thank for Sampras you. in the first game of this third set, having taken the first two, 7 6 6 4. Ah! 15 long. Well, in Boris's behalf, how many times has he just missed by inches today? 
Well, it's a cliche, but it's certainly a game of inches. As we see here, it clearly missed by about two inches. Pete looking intently at that mark. Pete is really on a roll right now. Totally outplaying Boris Becker in every aspect of the game. He's got Boris right where he wants him, talking to himself, frustrated, not concentrated. Well, he was upset. He thought that the last serve by Sampras wasn't on the line, and then he hit the soft return, and uh, Sampras put it away. That and the fact that he's already down a break in the yeah. third set. That's what he's really upset about. Game Sampras holds it low. We're New talking ball. about how important the serve is, Dick, but look at the return. That's the other factor. Forrest Sampras Becker doesn't even seem to be hitting in the middle of the strings right now. Pete Sampras has had a lot of chances. Seems to be picking Boris Becker's serve up quite early. Showed you Boris Becker's uh, Davis Cup record earlier and John McEnroe, one of the best ever for the U.S. of A, 41 and 8. 30, it's not 33 and 2, but it's not too bad. But saying, uh, Although I'm not sure that's an accurate record, but no, it's what do you have, bud? Could NBC possibly have made a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> 32 and 7 in singles and 15 and 2 in doubles. Make it 142 in eight. As long as you're going to make, make a mistake. mistake. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of an advantage here for Boris Becker to be able to serve with new balls. Get a little bit extra oomph on his serve. Maybe win a couple easy points, get his concentration back. Becker's had some great comebacks on this court, but this would be one of the best ever if he can rally from two sets down and a breakdown early in the third. And it won't be that way, as uh, he is now double faulted more than in any other match of this championship, 12. We see there on the replay, his feet barely left the ground, and that's a very bad sign for Boris Becker. I think it's legs, that he's just not using his legs? It looks to be either that or he just developed a sudden case of white man's disease. Out! That all of us in the booth can relate to. <laughs> in 1990, remember he was down two sets in the final as Stefan Edberg came all the way back and then blew the fifth set inexplicably. It seemed he had everything going for him at the time. Wasn't he up a break in that fifth Yeah, set? he was up a break, and then he missed a very easy volley, and then it just fell apart. We see here only 46% for the match. When he's gotten his first serve, and he's won 92% of the points, and that's the difference. He's only won 42% of the points off the second serve. And given away 12. You seem to be steering that serve, John. You got to snap out of it. Snap at it. Excuse me. When he reaches the height. A 12 double faults, the equivalent of a game per set, just on double faults alone. One, two, and the third. Sampras. Pete Sampras, the number one seed, but not the favorite to win this Wimbledon, leads two sets and up a break in the third against Boris Becker, and uh, the number one seed in the last 25 Wimbledons, well, seven of them, won by the seeded player first, and the last to do it nine years ago. Gee. Happened to be John McEnroe. Good thing. Well, since Bud always brings up my losses, I appreciate you bringing up a couple of my wins. We see here a well-placed punch volley by Pete Sampras. As far as the knockdown. Boris, not known for his footwork. Always a good play to go behind the player. Keep him guessing. Footfall. Second footfall. That's strange. Yeah. Ah. 
Well, Dick, when you said that Pete Sampras was not the favorite to win, you mean according to the know-it-alls, the London bookmakers, yeah. right? Yeah, what do they know, right? Well, they make their living at it. That was Rashbir Majan who called that footfall. He's a regular around here and a very good official. Edberg and Steak uh, were the favorites pre-Wimbledon. You see here Pete Sampras sitting in that nice serve out wide. Lost his footing a little bit, almost fell down. Boris had way too much time for that passing shot. Pete must have thought he was playing on clay courts there for a second. The time where you don't want to let your opponent back into the match. Boris looked into the sky and thanks. Yeah. Dick, that's an excellent point. This is a very important time for Pete Sampras to maintain his his hold on this match. Looking to the Lord here, thanking him for finally hitting a winner return. One thing Becker knows, if he does rally, this crowd will be in full support. Yeah, he's kept them quiet. Back to Becker and his fiancée, Barbara Feldes, are house hunting here in London and are planning to move, make this their residence. That's about as big a second serve as you're going to see that we just saw from Pete Sanders at 30 all. Excellent time to do it. Barbara and Delana, the two ladies of these men's lives. Dick, I think we heard that phrase for the first time, the German phrase. Boris Becker almost caught him in the body once again. Good half volley by Pete Samus. Tries to lob over Pete, too, way too short. Almost got hit in the head by that overhead. Starting to look too much like the 91 final for Boris Becker's liking. When Michael Steak rolled him out in straights. Nine aces and 12 double faults. Close you off. His 10th base and his 92nd in the championships. Forrest needs to regain his composure, make sure he doesn't lose serve again, because you know he's going to probably have an opportunity or two. It's always tough to finish this match off when you're serving. Yes. The pressure and opportunity that Pete Sampras has to reach his first Wimbledon final will definitely be preying on his mind as he tries to serve it out. Which is why he'd dearly love to have another service break. But he's returned so beautifully in the second and third set. Yep. He's made those adjustments you've talked about. Flexibility with the racket work. <laughs> 